Hi friends, I wanted to uh, go over some of the tools that are in the magic box. I know some of them are really easy to understand and work with, but there's some that have kind of some hidden features that you may may or may not have known. So I just wanted to go over some of those with you. Also wanted to tell you in case you, um, you know, you don't want to use Screencast-O-Matic and have that watermark in the bottom. If you ever want to record like a little lesson in the Whiteboard app, you can um, with this tool right here. It has screenshots or screen grabs. This one does the entire screen. This is a free form. And uh, this does like a, like a square area you can choose. But this right here is the screen recorder. And um, it'll allow you, it'll pick up your, your voice if you have a microphone. And it'll take screenshot of your, uh, or a video of your screen. Um, it does not have, unless it does not have the camera uh, feature built in. So your face won't be on there but I'm guessing most of you will probably be okay with that anyway. So screen retort recording tools right uh, in there, but I'm gonna go to the magic box down here and to the tools up top here. I'm gonna add a couple tools at a time here. So we have a clock and a stopwatch. Now you can move the clock where you want, kind of in the middle, and then on the outside, you can expand the clock so it's a little bit larger too in the screen. Um, Right here, it always it's set to the current time, so it's actually like the actual time of day right now. This is the button that helps you get back there. I'll show you that in a little bit. This is the time shuffler or the time randomizer. So if you wanted to ask a student, you know, what time is this? And then they say, and then you, what time is this? You can do that with that little shuffler. And this button just gets rid of the numbers or puts the numbers back. And like I said, this will take you back to the current time. Um, I have written them and asked them if they could add a feature to be able to use this clock, like a Judy clock, where when you move the minute hand, the hour hand moves with it. Um, so we'll see if they end up adding that in the future, but I felt like that would be kind of a nice thing to have too. So uh, this, this is just like a timer stopwatch, but it allows students to see time to the hundredth of a second. And uh, so you can, if you want to let that run and see, show kids how that time works, um, you can stop it and pause it and keep it going. This will clear it and start it over. Um, and then this will allow you to set uh, actual like timer if you want as well. So if you want to set it for one minute, then you can, and it'll, it'll play. Sorry, I did it for one second, sorry. Um, so then it'll do a little, little uh, beep too there. So. Um, that's the clock and the um, kind of stopwatch timer tool. Go back to tools once. I'm going to add the ruler, the square, and the protractor. We're going to get crazy here. So um, nice thing with these, you can move them where you want. Um, the ruler, uh, you can rotate. Oh, sorry. You can rotate the, uh, supposed to be able to. There we go. You can kind of tilt the ruler if you want it at an angle. This will show you the angle that it is currently at. So you can swing both ends down. There's arrows at either end that allow you to shrink or enlarge the ruler. And then this button flips it from centimeters and inches to top and bottom. So you can um, adjust it that way as well. Um, and then uh, one other thing that you can do with all of these, you'll notice that I have my marker tool here, but when I get to the edge, it turns in this little pencil. It allows you to trace a straight line. So if you wanna make a six centimeter line, and you can do that on any of these. Um, so uh, that's kind of a, a nice feature too. So the square, you can rotate, you can um, also expand it, make it larger as well, similar to the ruler. Protractor has similar tools here. Um, this allows you to flip to a full 360 degree uh, angle measurer here, and uh, you can also you know, rotate Ex, whoops, expand. And um, then one thing that's that's neat too is even on this protractor, it'll allow you to draw angles by tracing the edge here. So if I wanted to draw a 30 degree angle, there's that 30 degree angle, but even cooler is if I toggle this little button here, and now I draw a 30 degree angle, check this out. Boom, it shows you like the actual kind of wedge of that angle. So now you know you can write write the, the amount in there and show kids, kids can see that too. So that's the, the ruler, the square, and the protractor tool in there. So let's go in and dive into a couple more here. Uh, let's put the compass and the calculator in here. So the calculator, you know, you can expand it. Um, for those of you that are teaching younger kids, it just allows them to see, you know, it's a pretty simple calculator here. 
so you can have them mimic what they're doing on their calculator um, and you can show them on your screen what buttons you're pressing um, and then hopefully they'll, they'll be able to kind of get the idea of how to use a calculator with your demonstration. Uh, the compass, you can move the compass where you want. You can stretch it out to um, make it um, uh, the radius that you want here. Um, you can uh, flip it, so if you want to start on this side, you can. Um, this, this just allows you to move it in or out, allows you to move it. This allows you to rotate it without um, drawing. But if you click on the tip of the pencil here and drag it around, that will allow you to um, draw your circles using the compass. And then you can get out your ruler. You can measure and do the, do the different math things you're going to do with that. So let's get rid of that. So that's the calculator and the compass. I know we're going fast here, but I just want to show you just a few things here. So um, this is the kind of a coordinate grid tool. You can expand it using the lines on the side here. Uh, these buttons in the bottom allow you to change your, your units. So here, every line is 2 instead of uh, 1. So you can adjust that for the x and y axis if as, as needed. Um, it's set to make lines right now. So if I click and drag, now I can make uh, change the color of the lines as well um, with any of these colors. Uh, if I click on that line tool, it allows me to kind of free free draw too. Um, and then this is the eraser tool, so if I want to erase a line, I can as well. Um, this allows the background to become more or less transparent if you want that. Um, this gets rid of the grid, and uh, this right here uh, gets rid of the numbers in case that's uh, getting it too too crowded in there. But one cool thing is that if you draw your lines and then you adjust the numbers, it will adjust your lines that you've drawn to uh, move with uh, the uh, unit adjustment here too. So um, you can move the tool, exit out of the tool. Now this compass, I'm not sure how uh, useful this will be, but um, if you're doing things with, with direction and uh, maybe degrees or, or measurement, you can... Uh, um, do that using this compass tool. It'll tell you how many degrees you're, you're moving and uh, how many degrees are in a compass. So if you're doing stuff like that with uh, maps and uh, compasses, you can maybe check that out too. Let's go back to the magic box, the tools, and uh, let's go add both of the, let's, let's just add that one for now. So this allows you to um, uh, do your own handwriting. So if you've got a stylus, you can you can write. I'm just using the mouse right now, but um, it ch ch changes your um, handwriting into text, and you can insert it right into your um, uh, board. There, you could also use the text tool if you're just doing something simple. But the the neat thing about this is it will do um, uh, it recognizes symbols as well. So if you uh, I'm trying to trying to draw that. Anyway, so um, the uh, it'll it'll recognize mathematical symbols if you draw them too. So if I let me let me try this once. So if I do seventy nine degrees, see it it recognizes the degree, but my handwriting isn't good enough on here using the mouse. So um, you can add add different things in there using this uh, math input panel. So I'm going to uh, get rid of both of these, though. So um, the other tool I want to show you next is um, this. This is kind of a, a unique one, um, but it allows you to um, expand it here so you can see a little better. But it allows you to add, add a, a question and even upload an image into it. And then what you can do is when you click the light bulb, it'll flip it, and you can put the answer right in the slide. So if you want to put something that's built in that maybe students are reviewing with, um, if they want to, you want them to use it on their, uh, um, their own laptop, they can. So um, that's kind of a, a unique tool that if, if that's helpful, you can, it's kind of like using it as a flashcard in a way. So that's, um, it doesn't, doesn't give names over the tools, but that's this one right here, this little flip card here. Um, we'll do the dice tool and the zoom tool here. So this is like a magnifying glass. You can adjust how much you want it to zoom in or out. 
You can adjust the size of the zoom tool too by dragging on the outside rim here. So that's the, the magnifying glass, allows you to kind of zoom in. Um, the dice tool, this is a pretty cool tool if you're doing things with maybe a probability or chance. Um, if you click on the dice, it'll roll a random number. You can add dice to it. You can take away dice. You can change the color of the dice. Um, you can add multiple squares of dice if you wanted to do three different groups here. So if I wanted to add another one, I could add another one in here as well. So you have, you know, two sets and you can, you know, play against each other if you want. So um, again, this just gets rid of the background here. But anyway, the, and you click and it'll roll all of them at once. So you can do things with probability uh, using the dice tool there as well. All right, we're almost to the end here. Thanks for sticking with me. This is the spotlight tool. So this allows you to um, uh, kind of highlight um, a certain thing. And I should have put something on the page here. Let me just do that and then I'll add the spotlight tool just so you can see it. So if you want kids to focus on one part of your screen, you can. Um, and uh, that way it kind of gets rid of that or gets rid of the extra, kind of hides the extra. Uh, another tool that does that is um, this, uh, this last one in here, kind of the shade tool. It allows you to, oops, sorry. It allows you to um, either just put a shade over the whole thing. Um, you can uh, put a shade just over a specific area if you want to hide something. You can expand it to fill up the whole screen if you want, but uh, if you wanted to just hide something, this is the default. You can change it to uh, whatever picture you want. Um, in the settings here, but uh, you, you, again, you can, if you want to like have a, a big reveal of something, that's the shade tool that's in there. I'm not sure how useful that will be, but it is in there. So um, again, play around, let me know what you find out, but those are some things, uh, some new things I found out in with some of those tools. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with them. Let me know if you have any questions and, and like I said, show me if, if you found something cool that you think would be useful for everybody else. Thanks.